Hello there guys, BillyBay10K here, welcome to episode 1 of Billy Presents. This is a gaming podcast of sorts, where I'm going to be talking about games, and then I'm going to be doing some fun quizzes and fun stuff with special guests each and every episode. This first episode is going to be dedicated to Dead by Daylight, simply because I wanted to do a very fun Dead by Daylight quiz with one of my friends, Jack, who has recently gotten into the game. Now, this little bit of audio, filmed a little while after the quiz. The actual quiz, I'm gonna transition us over to. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go. All right, hello guys. I am here with my first ever special guest, and that is- I'm special. Yeah, you are. You are, Jack. Welcome. Welcome to my show that I haven't named yet. How are you doing? Hey. Hi, um, I am the expert in Dead by Daylight, by the way. Um, I, mm -hmm. I saw you. I, you. I am a viral star because I came out of a box. <laughs> she came out of a box. <laughs> you opened the box. I came. We are going to be having a Dead by Daylight quiz. Are you ready? Oh, no. All right. <laughs> I'm excited. Dead by Daylight is an asymmetrical multiplayer game where a team of four survivors are hunted by original killers and big names from horror franchises. And very recently, they announced their newest killer, the Cenobite, more popularly known as Pinhead of Hellraiser fame. Now all the killers in Dead by Daylight have a title of the blank. So Jack, naturally, if you yeah. were a killer in Dead by Daylight, what would your the blank title be, and what powers would you have? The depression. The depression. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what would the depression do to kill the survivors? Right, hear me out. It's just the area effect. Like they just look like nearby. Like, oh, I don't feel like living. And they just walk in the hoop by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so like on the on the HUD, there's just like a little meter, and the closer they get to you, the more it goes up, and it just yeah, it just don't even grab them. They just look like ah, all right, and just walk towards the hook. Fine, I guess that, that that's it for today. Well, yeah. <laughs> the depression, brilliant. In Dead by Daylight, survivors have to work together to repair generators, distract the killer, and ultimately escape from the realm of the entity. But of course, things aren't that simple. With flashlight clickers, toxic teabaggers, and everyone else, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> have you had any traumatizing moments working together in a team setting before? Oh, we don't. Oh, uh, well. So, <laughs> this is why I'm just being plain killer rather than survivor, just so I can avoid that clown. But now it's because they have big events, the clown every time I put up Dead by Daylight, just if it's the clown. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't necessarily meaning it in game, I just meant in life. Have you ever oh, had any traumatizing oh, moments working together with a team? Yeah. Well, yeah. There's, yeah, yeah. Mm. there's a lot of stories there. Mm. Well, for example, they had uh, in high school, they decided, hey, there's a, a thing that you can train to be a fireman. I'm going to send <laughs> all the socially awkward kids and the delinquents so they all have to work together and it's been like oh yeah you have to work with people that you might not usually get with like mm -hmm. you'll get all so but usually the socially awkward people were the ones being bullied by the delinquents yeah yeah that and sounds about right that, that, <laughs> was... that's, oh. your, that's your your killer backstory for the depression yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh god okay now sadly we will be saying goodbye to the Stranger Things collaboration in November, which brought us survivors Nancy and Steve, the Killer, the Demogorgon, and the Hawkins Underground Laboratory map. But fear not, while the map may oh. be going away permanently, players yeah. who purchase the Stranger Things DLC before November the 17th, 2021, mark that date viewers, will keep access to their survivors and killers. But Jack... Yeah. What Netflix shows have you been watching recently? <laughs> oh, let me go. I've got my list. I this is I have to do this for careers watching Netflix. Mm -hmm. Like that is let me let me I get knew you would be the perfect person for this. Yes. Okay, but, uh was a Drag Race All Stars, Vivo, Scream. 
As in, like, uh, Scream the TV series? Yeah, the Scream the TV series. Right, I, I watched oh, that a cool. few... I, I like it. I watched it a few years back, and good stuff for yeah. me. I just haunt the haunting... Like, if I had any, like, state, like, character in Dead by Daylight, it would be from the Haunting series. Yes. Like, get that. Yes, I actually, oh. I actually just watched those for the first time last month with my partner. He wanted to show them to me, and oh my god, they're so good! Like, oh. thing, thing is, they announced it for, um, like, I'm obsessed with um, Universal's Halloween Horror Nights, mm -hmm. right? And they announced one of the houses is going to be the haunting, yes. it's the Hill House. Oh, even and better. I'm like, I, uh, I was meant to go, the bloody pandemic. Like, and oh. This is the big one. Yeah. This is the 30th anniversary. And I'm like, <sighs> Well, oh. Jack, I have a surprise question for you. If you oh. were a ghost in the haunting of Hill House, what kind of ghost would you be? Oh. Oh, that's actually tough. Like, I actually don't. Which one would like? I don't want the twisted lady. Uh, under. I I think, I I would honestly look just like for a creepy nature. I want to just do something with a dollhouse. You know that kind of okay, thing. Okay, okay. Like, so, so, so you're going more Bly Manor then? <laughs> than, yeah, than I Hill think House. more Bly. Yeah, like just like a dollhouse, just like so, like they open the dollhouse and like uh, uh, you know the things like oh, like wait, see everyone's in the house, mm -hmm. and like and then it's like then they look in and then they just see like oh yeah, there's a new figurine behind someone in the kitchen, and then that person in the kitchen gets murdered. Yeah, I'm like, like, oh yeah, that thing is like, wait, I can't do anything because I'm only watching it via dollhouse and that creepy eel. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. that sounds fantastic. Okay, I'm trying not, I'm trying not to spoil that because yeah, it's such I, a good series. I know anyone who has not watched the Haunting series, both of series, go do that right now. I was in tears at the end of Blind yeah. Manor. That that hit oh. me so hard, man. <sighs> oh. No spoilers, but good shit. Yeah. So Jack. Yeah. This is the part of the video that was probably going to be in the title of this YouTube video. I would like you to take part in my Dead by Daylight Choose Your Own Adventure game. Are you ready? Oh wait, I know how to win. Hmm? I already know. Okay. Disconnect. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All the time. Those of you at home, he, did, he actually disconnected. He left for a few seconds. How, how rude. I invite you on a collab on Z my channel. Zero blood, zero blood points. Zero blood points. What? You're going to you have to wait five Still minutes. Live? You're going to have to wait five minutes before connecting to a new match. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a shame. I don't get murdered quicker. Jack, I have actually made this especially for you. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. So let me set the scene. You, Jack are sitting at home, drinking a good old iron brew, listening that's to Disney that's, songs. That's a, that's a racist, <laughs> accurate stereotype. I feel offended. Get, oh, get used it. to it. Get used to it. Listening to Disney songs while waiting to invite Billy and I on to Minecraft Disney, because God uh. damn it, you'll make it happen one day. But you suddenly realize you're out of your favorite Scottish drink. You step out into the hallway, intent on getting some of that delicious rust-coloured beverage from the kitchen, taking the crushed can of iron brew with you, only to see a weird fog seeping in around you. And within moments, you're somewhere else entirely. The crackle of a warm fire greets you as your eyes blink open, and you find yourself in the grass roughly 15 paces away from firelight. Do you A, approach the fire, B, run away from the fire, or C, stay where you are? Right, okay, let's let's do the knowledge. I remember the training you've told me. Uh, I think stay away from the fire. So are you, and when, when you say stay away, do you mean stay where you are now or run away from the fire? Um. I'm trying to think D and D terms here, right? Can I can I do a stealth check near? <laughs> One sec, let me let me get my dice. <laughs> there's no rolls right now, but <laughs> oh, there I might will be, go there, there, might, there, there might be later, but not right now. Oh. I'm 
what is that opening cut? It's because they're all sat around the campfire. Jack, the is, trust your gut. Listen, I, I can't because like if I go near a campfire, like I'm more in the office, everyone can see me. If I go in the shadows, like you can see like like creepy me creepy um and one of the mass killers with a chainsaw is gonna attack me. Well Jack, think. In Dead by Daylight, where do you normally see a campfire? St oh, star metal. Ah. So would you like to a approach the fire? Yes, I would like to approach the campfire. You you don't want to run away from the the campfire at all. <laughs> no, I do not. Okay. You choose to approach the fire, sitting down beside an upturned log, resting your weary feet and letting the warmth of the fire rejuvenate your soul. Uh, a and C were both correct. B, you would have died. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, it, it was it was very much a, you flee into the foggy night of a dark forest and nobody hears your very high pitched scream as you are silenced forever. When you're dying in the forest and there's nobody around, do you ever really die or even make a sound? Oh, you you're just dropping <laughs> DM and hands and you know, me. Oh, you don't. You just do That makes sense because he's also depressed. The answer oh. is yes. You do die. <laughs> But no, you approach the fire, and after a few minutes, you begin to hear footsteps crunching in the leaves, the sound of ragged breathing, and you notice three figures similar to yourself drifting towards the firelight. The first is a black-haired office worker, clean-shaven, wearing large black glasses and a black and red tie. His everyday shirt for an everyday guy is stained with muck and... is that... blood? He eyes you wearily before sitting down at the fire. The second is a dark-skinned woman with her dark hair tied back in a ponytail. She has a pair of safety spectacles, perfect for protecting the eyes, and she is wearing a grass-green apron that makes her look and feel professional. Her eyes dart to you, and she looks away awkwardly. The third is a younger woman, wearing an oversized dark grey beanie. It hides her hair, which is short and low-cut. She wears a sleeveless street t-shirt, because sleeves are for the patriarchy, and a pair of scuffed skinny jeans. She greets you with a hello, and you can tell she's Swedish. You feel you have time to talk with just one of these three people. Do you talk with A, the office worker, B, the apron lady, or C, the Swedish chick? Okay, so is the office worker a guy with glasses? Yes. Can I just flip him off, because knowing yeah, just, sure. Just yeah. This. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've got a sense, like, of, like a screaming fandom knowing. Just, <laughs> just hate towards this guy. Yep, yep, fair enough. Um, so I'm guessing you're going to talk to one of the women then. <sighs> you're putting me in a situation of talking to someone. You have the dark skinned like apron lady and the Swedish chick with the beanie. I'll talk to the Swedish, uh, Swedish person. All right. Uh, you sit down beside her. She looks over at you calmly and goes, Hello. I'm not going to do a Swedish accent because I don't want to get cancelled. My name is Nia Carlson. I may be young, but I've been in gangs. I've tagged government buildings and I know my way around avoiding the dangers of the night. While the paint was still fresh, I was long gone. And I'm good at staying off the radar. Might come in handy when they come out to play. Before you can ask any more questions, you all notice that the fire is beginning to die down, and the darkness of the forest is creeping in around you. You see the other three chuck an item into the fire, things you don't recognize, and you feel like doing the same. Checking your pockets, you find three different items. Which do you chuck in the fire as an offering? Oh. A, the crushed iron brew can, B, a map of the Magic Kingdom theme park, or C, a D20. Oh, can I chuck myself? <laughs> you chuck yourself into the fire and burn Dang alive, it. you lose a life. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. No, I, I, I said could. Uh, no, mm. no, 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 that was just me fucking with you. <laughs> okay, hmm. Let's, let's think. I can. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to... Do my limpy dead by dealing like out of there it goes back my tongue. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. so there's a map, a can, and a d20. Can I want to throw 
Uh, I'm going with the, the map. Okay. As you chuck uh, in the Disney World Orlando map, you're suddenly... Oh, no, is that the is that the Disneyland Orlando or is that Magic Kingdom theme park? Shit, I think I'm... Yeah, that's the Magic... Is that, the oh. that, is that in the same place? Or is that a different yeah, oh. place? Yeah, that's Magic Kingdom is in Walt Disney World. Okay, Kingdom. good, yeah. okay. Thank yeah. God, well, I didn't you, want to embarrass myself. If you got myself. that wrong, got that if wrong. you got that wrong, I would think that's what you cancelled for, not the, the racist Ooh. accent. Oh, okay. You're suddenly flooded with information about its layout. And that was the correct thing to chuck in the fire. I can confirm if you chuck the iron brew can into the fire, the the liquid of the iron brew, because it's just so powerful, would burst into flames and the fire would burn you alive. Um, and if you chuck the d20 into the fire, it would roll on a natural one and a tree branch would just fall and knock you into the fire. <laughs> so. Technically, right. If the fire's going out before the the iron brew can, we've got like a bit longer. Yeah, but you're like so. a you're like a twig. You're flammable. <laughs> I think that <laughs> that's true. <laughs> the world is suddenly dark, and then oh, there is moonlight. Your three companions are gone, vanished, leaving only you, and you find yourself standing in a street. You instantly recognize it as the main street of the Magic Kingdom theme park. Oh, only, I thought it was going to be Haddonfield. Only you can oh. see it's it's rusted over in some places, and there are some strange hooks lying about. Stepping towards the main square, you can see various different locations to run through. Suddenly, you hear a scream. Ah! Coming from Fantasyland. Do you A run to Fantasyland, B, run to Adventureland, or C, run to Liberty Square. Oh, that's... Like, you know, you're testing my knowledge here, right? Listen, Billy, so I know when you start the day of the park, you usually want to run right to the back, towards <laughs> Fantasyland, so because that's when, like, the big attractions are and they usually get busy. However, the main attractions are towards the, the right <laughs> corners. <laughs> you yo you. Oh, it's like oh yeah, let, let's let's do this uh, different reference. No, no, I know the bull park layout. <laughs> Don't you worry. So it's like you want to go yeah, like Space Mountain or Big Thunder Mountain. It's so, great. You you get to do all the work for me. I just have to say yeah. the names. <laughs> oh. So right, where do so you, where do you want to go? Adventure Land. Head towards Jungle Cruise. All right. Oh no way! Running towards a scream. Who does that? You no, that's go... not towards, that's fantasy, fans oh. Yeah, oh, wait, Fantasyland oh. is where the scream uh, came from. You said Adventureland, uh, so. Ah. Uh, yeah, you um, turn, you turn yeah. away from where the scream is going from, only to find that where there should be a road leading to Adventureland, it's bricked off. I guess you didn't get that map this time. It looks like the only way forwards is through Fantasyland. Oh, this is awful railroading. <laughs> um, can I just report? Let's say. <laughs> uh, oh, this so, is... against your better judgment, you run in the direction of the screams, hoping that whoever is over there is alright. As you pass by the various attractions, however, you notice there is a pink haze settling about around the street. Do you A. Sniff it, B. Avoid it, or C. Run through it? I hate you. Like, oh no. Avoid it. Alright, you decide not to mess with the haze, though your only detour around it is through the Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid attraction. Wait, wait, so, wait, how did I get there? That's in Fantasyland. Yeah, but that's right at the back. Yeah, you ran to the back of Fantasyland. Yeah, okay, so if the screams were like, so it was like yeah, around the half... You Remember, in, De in Dead by Daylight, you can hear the screams wherever you are on the map. Like halfway across the map, though, like yeah. I ran from like the train station. That's what? How far? Like you're re you're you must be like it's the Iron Brew. It must be really just jacking up your uh, your ability to run. I was jacking me. <laughs> just shut the fuck up. <laughs> you steal your way into the attraction, noticing that the track is flooded with water and you'll have to get wet to make some progress. Oh. You, you submerge yourself <laughs> in the water, and you begin to very slowly swim through, trying to avoid making noise, when you hear another scream. Ah! 
this time way more brutal than before. And suddenly, as if by magic, you can see a yellow silhouette of someone behind the wall to your right. They're on the ground, and moments later, you see them being raised upwards, and then they vanish, as if picked up by an unseen force. You swim forwards until you reach a dock, climbing out just in time to hear a piercing wail. The aura is back again, but this time, the person you can see is almost hanging. From what, you can't tell, but as you peer around the corner, a horrifying sight greets you. Nia, Nia Carlson, is hanging from a large, rusty hook. Oh, I should have picked Dwight. While an animatronic Ariel, the Little Mermaid, stares down at her. She is whimpering in pain, and you realize you have a choice. A. Save Nia. B. Leave Nia. Oh. Oh. Why are they... Oh, that animatronic's always broken anyway. Wait. Is this because FNAF didn't get in and you're just... <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. Know. Will, will that get Ooh. me views? <laughs> I don't Ooh. know. Wait, wait, wait. You said it was the pink gas, so if I use my knowledge, that's the clown. That's the... You wouldn't, like, think so. I will save Nia. You're going to save Nia? Yeah. Okay. You push yourself out of the shadows, rushing over to help this poor, helpless woman. Lifting her up, you're able to remove her from the hook, and while expecting to see a horrifying wound, you find that there isn't really like an actual hole where the hook impaled her. There's a lot of blood, and it looks like it hurts, but perhaps there's a mysterious force at work that keeps the survivors moving. Thank you. <laughs> she thanks you, before hobbling over to a rather old-looking generator. We need to fix this. It's our only way out. Roll a d20. Oh, uh... Okay, I don't have a d20 if I've got a yai. Yesterday I asked you board game. <laughs> yep, okay. Uh, I think this has got a dice in it. Yeah, it's got a... Uh, an eight-sided dice. Okay, perfect. Roll the dice for me and I'll let you know what happens. Alright, rolled. What does it say? It's light blue. What number does that correspond to? There's no number, it's just colours. Shit! Um, <laughs> you played me, Jack. Um, <laughs> where is my dice? Where have I put them? I haven't used them in weeks. Um, ah, yeah, that goes the sh I'm gonna Billy roll a left us. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll a d20 for you, if that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Is that a one? Yeah, it is. I'm taking a picture of it. I'm taking a fucking picture. <gasps> that's... that's... that... <laughs> it could be a, no, no, that is a one. It was like it could be a seven. Ah, no, wait, but this is whale magic. Whale magic activists. <laughs> if only. Uh, as you go to start repairing the generator, you miss a skill check and it goes. <laughs> Nia looks at you with a look of absolute what the heck, and she pushes you away and begins to fix up the generator herself, and. But you oh, are yeah, left to, yeah you're left to just watch her fix this generator it takes a lot of time but finally it sparks to life only as you start to hear a heartbeat thump 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 you only have a moment to decide what to do as a red glow emanates from the tunnel you just came from nia seeing this much further ahead than you sprints away further into the attraction, uh. urging you to follow her. Do you A. Run towards the glow, it could be a friend. <laughs> it, could, B, it could be. B. Hide in a nearby locker, you'll be safe there, right? C. Sprint in the opposite direction, heading further along the track. There might be a pallet there you can drop. What's a pallet? I'm trying to think, like... Would the killer see Nia in that distance? Nia's already she... gone. She left. Yeah. She, 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 she got out of there before he like the red glow has even arrived in the room. Whatever the red glow could be. Oh, We're not assuming genders of the red glow. 
Um, I think the best thing, because if I hide, it's going to just keep hearing the like do 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 heartbeat. So I think the best is just run. All right. You begin to sprint in the opposite direction. However, because you failed your skill check at the generator, you're further back in the room than you would have been otherwise. And as you turn around to look back, you can see a large, rotund, obese clown, makeup torn and strewn across his face, standing before you. He oh, holds a, b- a bottle of gas, <laughs> and his horrifying laugh causes you to recoil. He throws the gas at you, and it explodes around you in a smoke of pink, and you feel a stabbing sensation in your back. The stabbing sensation, however, forces you forwards past a pallet which you drop, and you make your way out of the attraction, leaving the horrifying clown from your nightmares behind. Oh, as you... over, but there, there we go, game o- we managed to escape. Thanks. As you escape Thanks, the everyone. attraction, like and subscribe. <laughs> as you escape the attraction, you see lights beginning to flicker, and in your mind you hear the words, the exit gates are powered. Sprinting back towards the main plaza, you notice an exit gate that has been placed at the entrance to the park down the main street. Do you A. Sprint down the center of the street, you'll get to the gate quicker. B. Take a detour and vault through some windows of nearby buildings to avoid being open. Or C. Crouch walk really slowly behind the back of the buildings. I don't know if like... It's the last thing of the meta here, right? In the Dead by Daylight, there's usually two exits, right? But, like, this map layout is awful. Like, it's, like, very, <laughs> like, streamed. So it's like, oh, yeah, one exit, and it's right at the front, and it's like, this narrow. It's really... When you think about it, it's not the best. <laughs> like, exposed. Like, the killer could just camp there. What are you going to do? I mean, as far as you know, you've left the killer behind you. You know, logic- logically, I can't get through the back of the park because that's unavailable to the main um, guest. So I could just, like, sneak through the shop, grab, like, a Mickey hat on the way. Okay. Just, like, walk, walk through it. <laughs> so that would be B, then. Take a detour, vault through some windows of nearby buildings to avoid being in the open. Yeah. Okay. So... You vault through some windows very slowly, so you don't make noise, pushing through some clothing and merchandise, grabbing a Mickey hat. Nia is actually behind you, making her way through the building with you. She gives you a nod and goes, well done on getting out of there. And you guys manage to make it through the buildings unscathed. Seems like it's actually a good decision, as you make it to the main entrance of the park in quick time while remaining unseen. You manage to make it to the exit gates and see a large handle, which you slam downwards quickly. Glancing back, though, you can see, walking down the street, the clown from your nightmares is sauntering towards you, when suddenly the gates spring to life, opening and allowing you a chance to escape. You turn to Nia and you realize you both have to make a choice. A. Attempt to run out as fast as you can. B. Chuck a cracked iron brew can from your pocket at his head, or C. Block his first stab with a death dodge, then give him an uppercut to the jaw. Can I go for D, right, and just stand in front of Nia so Nia gets the hit? Hmm? I mean... Sacrifice (laughs) Nia so I can run? I mean, do you want to do that? Because I can allow that if you want. Sure, yeah, let's do that. Are you gonna do anything from the other options, or are you just gonna just let Nia? I'm going to run, but just like run, just like basically just like nudge, like oh, what's that over there, and then just yep. run. Okay. You attempt to run out as fast as you can, nudging Nia backwards into the clown's deadly clutches, and you find yourself across the threshold. Though you do hear a neck snap and the sound of a finger being cut off. We got but number one for three, right? <laughs> you turn back, you see the clown chasing after you, only to be fenced in, corralled by the entity that plucked you both from your lives. But 
As you turn away into the foggy expanse before you, you meet the eyes of another. It's... Nia? But she just died. She gives you a glare, and with a shocking realization, you realize, oh no, Nia is actually the entity. Oh. <laughs> she uh, T-poses towards you with power, <laughs> trapping you in an infinite loop of life and death. Nia is love. Nia is life. You have reached a bad end. Oh. Still escaped. Yeah, fun. Now we're gonna get down. So if you tried to run out as fast as you can with Nia, um, it would go. You attempt to run out, avoiding the the clown, and you both turn back to see the clown fenced in. Nia breathes out another thank you as you both run into the fog. When suddenly you blink awake, finding yourself on the floor of your hallway, back in your house in the real world. What a weird. What a weird it's dream. Not, it's not my fault that Nia, you already used her sprint burst. That is <laughs> oh, the thing. It's well, not no, no, my no, fault. Nia's don't use sprint burst. They use urban evasion. <laughs> they're the, they're uh, the fast uh, crouch walkers. So. Uh, don't worry. They 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 already used that. That's That ability is yep. gone. I didn't use a single ability. I wasted all right yep. at the end. Yep. The so the, the, the it's, final... it's not my fault. I never purposely shoved her. You, she yep. mishandled her ability. So is it really a bad ending when they're not <laughs> as big brained as me? The final line was, The real Dead by Daylight was the friend you made along the way. <laughs> I have friends. <laughs> Alright, Jack, uh, sadly, you didn't get the good end. You got the Nia is the entity end, so you did not escape by daylight. But thank you very much for competing in my Dead by Daylight Choose Your Own Adventure quiz. That was incredibly entertaining. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun. Uh, everyone watching at home, I hope you were playing along. What would you have done in those situations? Would you have become Nia is the Entity? Uh, is this just a backstory for the depression? Who knows? <laughs> if anybody wants to follow Jack's channel, I will leave the links to his stuff down below. He's making some very good shitpost content. Yeah, what, is uh, a what is a consistent upload? Like, that's that's my whole channel now. It's just mm. whatever I if we could upload. Mm -hmm. a, a good video highly edited that I spent months on. <laughs> could be something that I spent <laughs> five minutes on. You never know. <laughs> Woo uh, is there anything else you want to plug before we go, Jack? Well, uh, I have a, a Twitch. I, I have an average of two viewers. You can be one of them if you wish. <laughs> you could be uh, the third. Lucky number three. Um... Trying to think what else. I've got a podcast coming up soon. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Need to keep that hush hush secret. Who knows? But mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Or join Top of the World. Yeah. Jo or don't. It's your call. Uh, join thank Top of the World. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you maybe next week with another one of these with someone else. I don't know. This is a new show. Who knows if I'm going to continue it past this episode? Well, he's commitment is. <laughs> You all know I'm so bad at commitment. <laughs> you know one thing we know though that we've got a number one victory right. Yeah, yeah, for now we have to get to Bye. <laughs>